many downs. And I made some friends and I've come out with enemies. I've tested the limits of my mind with my soul running on empty, and yet I am still here. And I am still here, writing away my years in exchange for tears. Those ones we shed the break of happiness and those that come at the break of darkness. And I'll be the first one to tell you that I get so caught in faces that the world I exist in that as king becomes faceless and my words are misplaced. And my poetry is up a face fest. So busy writing these words to make your fingers snap and your hands clap. I might as well be the next cat that comes out and rap. For the many times I thought of myself coughing and raps on my own mess that the words were pure. But the stories I told were from my frustrations and not my love. Because the pain that boys gain is the addictive drug. And I spent some nuts shit that I feel like my nose has been glued to somebody's asshole. <laughs> Important. Everyone's input is never really been happy with my own. And I know that it's Sunday and all my demons ain't gone. But guess what? It feels good to be home. And it's like Bliss when those words start to talk to me again. But we just fight for a moment to be if we friends. Or better yet, I am that father that is struggling just to raise his kids because they should never have to know what child support is. Or a teacher that is flicking with students to understand why this day and education is only to open for a game where what you do it at your time is when you go. So let nobody, not your mama, your daddy, or all them haters on Facebook ever tell you it's okay to stop at the first no. So I'm writing these words for you. The you who hates turning to KCTV five and find yourself on another issue. To you who spray in the street like for the boxes hit you. Or maybe you just can't get to a melody and them words not hit you. But you that get to the mic and forget your words on a miscue. See, I write these words for those who challenge us and allow them to say what they feel creatively. Whatever the girl who burst the baby mistakenly, I wrote these words for you. And I wrote these words to you. See, I'm writing for that kid that thinks about bringing a gun to school because I know the feeling I've been there too. But a person who proclaims the world does not understand what you've gone through. These words are for my friends. Larry Henderson, DeMarco Harvey, Nathan Bowie, Brandon Shaw, Ron Roy McDowell, Just J. Jackson, Tanisha Gilmore, and Chantrell Golden, the friends that I've lost in this rat race. But in Jesus, I'm praying when it's all over, I get to see his face. And for my grandmother, who was the shine in my eye, for my mother, who taught me to never say die, for my brother, that sits in leather work, because he will never understand what it truly means again to be free. And for the father, because I forgive him, even though the greatest lesson he ever taught me, that's the greatest lesson he ever taught me. Because him not being there remains the greatest lesson he ever taught me. And to this day, I may not ever understand why God chose to make me a poor, but my heart remains his and he knows it. So despite what robots have been laid my way, despite what bills I can't pay, despite the fact that I don't have a car, despite the fact that my life ain't perfect, so despite what words have been laid my way, despite what anybody got to say, these words, these words, these roads, these words, I use them as fuel. So guess what? So no matter what you may have to say about me, this life I live ain't for me, it's for them. And I wrote these words for you.